This episode of Kayak Bassin is brought to you by Torquedo, makers of the Ultralight 403 kayak motor with a top speed of 6 miles per hour, a lightweight waterproof battery, and a range of up to 25 miles. For more information, check out Torquedo.com. Hi, today on Kayak Bass Fishing, we're going to talk about managing your boat's position. There's a couple ways to do that, and one of the most popular ways is to use an anchor trolley system. An anchor trolley system consists of a couple of pulleys, some running line, a ring, or some other way of affixing your, uh, your, the item that you're going to be using for that day to the boat. That could be a stakeout pole, an anchor, a drift chute, and a couple of other apparatus that you could just, you know, come up with on your own. Okay, hey, at this point you're probably wondering, what is an anchor trolley system? An anchor trolley system very simply is a continuous loop that runs from one end of the boat to the other with an attachment point in the middle. That could be a ring, a clip, a loop, or any other system to where you can actually attach something to the middle. The basic concept is that it changes the pivot point and the location along the boat uh, when you're trying to position yourself. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is some of the basic components you need to put your anchor trolley system together. Uh, you're going to need a ring, you're going to need a pulley, you're going to need a cord, you know, something in the five millimeter range is going to be perfect. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up your pulley. Your pulley is really is the, uh, is the basis for the operation of the system. A lot of manufacturers recommend that you use a section of bungee. A lot of internet forums and articles have been written about it, and the bungee is supposed to give the system some stretch. I, for one, don't like to use the bungee because it causes too much slap. It allows it to vibrate too much, especially in wind or current if you move, move around. The alternative that I use is a section of rope, the same rope that I use for my anchor trolley system, and I just remove the center core. When you remove that center core out of the rope, it actually turns the rope into something of a bungee of itself, gives it a little bit of stretch. I like to use the, the hog clips or the cage rings um, to connect the system if I'm doing it quickly. One of the things that I've noticed over time is that those hog clips are metal. It's another contact point. So when you're trying to slip in there and get that big old bass, a lot of times uh, that metal tapping against the side of the boat, even if you put some kind of insulation behind it, just causes a little bit extra noise. So I've gone the extra route of, of just sewing my loops now. Give yourself enough overlap that you're going to have some friction there, and you're going to have enough distance to sew it to make it uh, strong enough that it'll, it'll hold under a load. Don't go too close to the frayed end, because you're going to want to hit that with a lighter in a second. You don't have to go overboard. These systems do not need to be super strong. The weight of the kayak and the angler is not that great. Just heat your knot up. And once you've got it good and hot, just lick your finger, mash that down. Makes a nice clean connection point. Okay, once you've sewn your loop, use a lighter. Uh, to melt both ends of the, the rope to get it to stick to itself. The piece of heat shrink that you threaded on there before you got started now simply slides over the top. Get that into position and lined up. Shrink it down and now your knot's protected and you're good to go. Got a couple options when you set up your loop. If you want and you make a permanent installation, you can simply run the rope through the loop prior to attaching it. But a, a quick and easy way to do this is to make your loop separate, put it through the uh, fitting, and this can be done with any fitting. It can be done with existing, existing deck fittings, or it can be done through something that you attach to the boat yourself. Simply pull it through, work it over the top of the pulley, bring it back through, secure it, and you're done. If the kayak you're using doesn't come with the existing system, the slide track system like this Wilderness Systems boat has with the block system, it's really simple. Just attach a deck loop or any other type of loop. Another really cool trick when you're doing this kind of thing, if you want to make a temporary, let me go ahead and pull this back off. I want to show you something that you can do. And I want to mention while we're doing this that you need to have your, your pulleys as far forward and as far aft as you can get them. Every kayak or most kayaks have a handle on the front. Another simple way to do this is just to attach it to the handle. Bring it through, take your loop down, and kind of run it off to the side. Obviously, if you're gonna use your handle, you're gonna to wanna to make your line a little bit longer so you can kind of get it down over and off to the side. This is a real simple, quick, 
an efficient way, not to mention uh, cheap way to attach an anchor trolley to your kayak. Simply come to the other end of the boat and do the same thing going in the opposite direction. The next thing we're going to talk about is setting up your actual running line. The running line can be set up very simply by just tying a knot. It can be folded over in, in a simple knot. Uh, I go to great lengths to clean this connection up, sew it, cover it with heat shrink because I want to get rid of any potential snagging point, things that can catch on vegetation when you're going through shallow water, uh, tree limbs, but more importantly, your fishing line. If your fishing line gets wedged in one of those V's, it can be a real pain to get that uh, snag up, you know, while you're sitting in the kayak. The next step's real simple. You just run the line from one pulley to the other. Before you get started, make sure that your line's at least double the length of the boat and then, you know, a foot and a half to two foot of excess for your folding over and your connecting points. So the way that you do this is really simple. Run your running line through your ring before you put it through your pulley. Pull your excess line through, then route it through your pulley. and pull it taut. Once you take all the slack out, you'll be able to tell if your anchor is set up correctly. This is how you want to have your line set up. To finish off your anchor trolley system, simply attach the other end of your running line to your ring. One of the things you want to take into account when you're doing that is clearing any deck obstacles along the way. So make sure that you leave just enough slack that your, your line can sag and clear any obstacles that may be in your way. But also you want it taut enough that it's not slapping against the side of the boat when you're, uh, when you're not using it. And to finish off this system, simply sew your connecting point, heat it up and melt it into place, slide your heat shrink over the top, heat that up and you're done. With this anchor trolley system, if you're out there and this thing is tapping around as the boat's rocking, that sound is transmitted through the hole and it's going to spook fish. A real simple solution is just to cut a piece of the silent traction system. You can even use a piece of the scrap. Get it behind there, line it up, stick it on the boat, smooth it in place. No noise. And that's it. A really simple concept that I've gone and made very complicated. <laughs> Go above and beyond to clean your system up. But the cool thing about this system is I've eliminated some of the expense with bungees and, and, uh, and, and ancillary products you don't necessarily need. This is rope, rings, and pulleys. Some needle and thread and some heat shrink and you're good to go. For outstanding customer service, expert advice, and all your kayak fishing gear needs, visit Hook One at kayakfishinggear.com.